Chocolate TV. Podcast 15. Podcast 15. Work one, my G's. Work one, work one. Do you know what I know? What is up, people at home? Um, wherever you are watching this video from, good evening, good day, whatever time of day, or night you are watching this from wherever you are in the world. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good to be back. Uh, I say that every time, but like, that's how much this means to me. And uh, yeah, it's been a, an up and down few weeks, of course. There's a war going on out there, well, invasion, whatever you want to call it, uh, that's terrible and yeah, it's not what you want to see, but it's what we're going through and people are scared. Uh, we've had two years of a pandemic, so, you know, if we can deal with that, we can deal with this. And that, that sounds kind of harsh, but yeah, that's how it is. And uh, yeah, we're supporting Ukraine. That's it. Like, you can't be bullying people like that. Like, I never trusted any politicians, especially that Russian one, like... Um, yeah, but you can't blame every person uh, in, that's Russian for that. You can blame him. Um, I don't really want to talk about that a lot, but like, you can't really avoid it, can you? Because it's all that we're talking about now. I mean, it's one thing to not be able to go out because of a pandemic, but I think those people, that, you know, they're losing their homes, they're losing their lives um, for a war that's just, or an invasion is just pointless. Um, you know, this is bully it's bullying essentially. Um, there's more politics involved, more reasons why it's happening. Uh, I'm not going to get into that too much. Um, just wanted to, you know, chat to you guys, see what you're up to. Well, you're going to see what I'm up to. And um, I've been working on a few other things I can't really tell you about. So I've been busy, so I uh, haven't had much time to upload. Still have though in between. Um, if you haven't, go and watch my latest video where I order some items from Wish. Um, and it's quite funny in the end. Kind of did get what I asked for. Like, there weren't any mix ups really. Which I, I was hoping there would be. It would have been better for the video, more funny. But no, I enjoyed that video and uh, I might do another one again. But like, I've seen other YouTubers do it and they've got money. Like, lots of money to spend so they can be all, be on there all day um, and I got the idea from a few others uh, but I, no, I enjoyed it and I still enjoy my videos I haven't made any reaction type videos in a while um, of course winter time vlogging is a bit more restricted like when I go out and stuff or well, has been for a while actually I haven't just vlogged a lot like I used to just gone on a day out um, I don't know, things have changed. Had to adapt a bit, I guess, to the pandemic. Uh, well, that's in the past now, but I've been ever adapting on this channel. Learning from other people as well. Um, and, of course, in between that, still going power chair football. We're trying to uh, stay strong because we've been having a pretty rough time. Not winning as many games as we'd like. Um, losing a bit of focus here and there. Uh, it just happens sometimes, and you know it's still getting into the the swing of things after not playing for so long. Um, and that sounds like an excuse, it's not, because um, I've I've seen it. With me and all my teammates, we're I don't know, we're struggling for form. It's not that we we lost. You never lose the technique. Like you don't you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. You know, it's just getting in the rhythm of winning and not doing silly mistakes that we've all been doing and we're all pretty annoyed at the way we're playing in some ways but we know you have to keep working at it, keep studying the sport uh, learning new tactics or perfecting the ones we've already got and it's like any sport, any team sport you want to give your all for your teammates um, you know there's no I in team it's all about the team and it's difficult sometimes because Everyone has that personal side, the, the ego that wants to be part of the glory every time. Not always the case. 
Um, I've learned more over the years to take pride in the team effort. And, you know, you win and lose as a team. No one goes out and says, oh, this is all my fault. Or when they win, you know, I, I you know, it's a team, team effort in both situations. Taking responsibility because, you know, if one player's like, oh, um, thinking for themselves instead of the team, then that's bad in either situation. Because when you win, that doesn't help your focus. And when you're losing, like, it means you're going to take all the blame as well. Um, and that's not what we do in a team. And it's been difficult. Um, but I think we're getting through it. I I'm always positive-minded about these things. I've been all. It's motivated me to work harder, to study other games, other teams, teams we're playing against, teams at higher levels, uh, teams on our level too, and hopefully we can recover from this bad run of games. It's been training and regionals and the cup game, but the 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 main thing is the championship weekend in Nottingham coming up on the 12th and the 13th, and like as you guys know. I've been pretty ill here and there from like September time over the new year, things like that. So I'm still not 100%, I don't think. And I felt that more than ever at Pouch of Football. Uh, just the effort. Like, um, just like someone's washing their hands in the kitchen. <laughs> but just like the effort I've put in. And I've been more tired after that. Same amount of effort I put in all the time, 100%. And I've not felt I've been able to really go at full tilt, at full speed, in terms of like mentally and physically. That's been a bit difficult. I've noticed that and, I, and I'm realising that. And my teammates accept it. And everyone involved accepts it. Because we're all at different levels, different conditions. Um, even with the same condition, someone's different to someone else. Everyone has different uh, needs, different skills, different weaknesses that, as a team, we have to help each other out with. And if you know each other's weaknesses, you could help someone out with their weakness with another skill you have. Like, for example, in my situation, um, I've, I've got restricted neck movement, so seeing the ball when it's behind me is a bit more tricky, so whoever's behind me on the pitch can tell me, or it should be telling me, you know. The ball's there, or hit, hit it, spin that way, turn left, turn right. Likewise with other teammates, helping them with the, with their weaknesses uh, the best way I can. You know, and we've got to be focused out there. We've got to be. It's got to be like you're going to war. I, I'm not. You know, I'm not trying to kill the opposition, but you've got to just flip a switch and be like, okay, I'm going to war. Forget all the banter, all the the things you do in your normal life. In my case, forget the social media, I forget the YouTube persona, just just do you, uh, you know, release the, the inner the inner demon, if you like, or beast, or whatever. It's, it's like a fighter when they step in the ring. They have to switch on. They have to be in fight mode, you know. And it's not always easy. Um, but I've played the sport so long that I think, um, I don't know. I've seen so many different um, styles of play, but one thing you always see is a change of character when you're on the pitch. Just focus and determination and aggression to win. You need that, and we've been lacking that, I'll be honest. Um, and it's not like us to lack that. Because we've, we've had good uh, spells since coming back after the pandemic, but we need to get in a rhythm we need everyone on the same wavelength, and it's not always the case. I mean, so many of us have been ill that we've missed a lot of training here and there, so do we haven't had consistent training with the same players. One or two are always there, credit to them. Uh, respect, you know, my respect for anyone that is able to be there every week. Um, and I feel bad because, you know, I, I've been ill, but I, otherwise I'd be there. And again, you know, who's making excuses? I'm not one to make excuses. But yeah, one thing I've seen is that we're all, you know, we're all different ages as well. 
I'm, I mean, some of us older, some of us younger. Some of us, you know, somewhere in between, but, um... No, I, I love being part of a team, I always have. Regardless of what team. Um, I've always... Well, I'm grateful for what I've learned from other teams. In the past, and... Players that have taught me a lot about the game and, uh... Given me good advice. Um, of course, there's different approaches. And... You know, you've got to enjoy it, but like I said, you've got to be focused when you're on the pitch. You've got to be a different animal. You've got to be ready for war. And still, you know, that's not meaning charging to every player you see on the pitch at full speed, every tackle. You've got to be tactical about what you're doing and take responsibility because you've got to think in that moment. Some of it's not, oh, we did this in training. We learned this, we learned that. It's in the moment you react and do what's needed. And not everyone sees that sometimes. And obviously, like, I know what I'm doing. Um, but there's times when maybe we're using different tactics um, and it doesn't always go to plan. Um, I just play my game some of the time and just do what I, try and do what I do best. Remember those best positions to score the goals or help in defence or whatever it is. And sometimes it's frustrating because you're at the other end of the pitch and you're not quite involved. And then suddenly the ball gets to you, what do I do? You get that moment. <laughs> I know what to do, but it's like, by the hell, after 10 minutes I finally got the ball. You let me do something special and it doesn't always work. Just keep it simple. I do tell myself that a lot, but like, Sometimes we just want to go for the spectacular, um, a 360 spin or whatever, or you know that kind of thing. But sometimes keep it simple works. It works for me sometimes. Oh, someone's coughing. But anyway, to recap, you know, it's been a frustrating time, but I still love the sport. I don't care. That won't change. Um, it, it's a it's a huge family and, uh, you know, despite that on the pitch, you need to be focused and forget about the friendships and all that sometimes, within reason. Um, no, but I'm just trying to study other games and different tactics, just to improve what we've already got going. Um, because it's worked in the past. No, but on a game of FIFA, like, there'll be some games where you, you can win easily and the goals just go in. Some games they don't and you just lose when you feel like you might have won. But it's, it's getting that belief. Um, but then again, respecting your opponent, knowing that they're dangerous too and using that to your advantage to not respect them, yeah, respect them, but be aware that they're capable of playing, playing the game... Um, or bring the game to you. Um, sometimes you can't compete with certain teams in certain areas of the pitch. You just got to do you, and you you can't start trying to play the way they play, or in the middle of a game when you've got your tactics, or get getting sucked into to areas that will make them more dangerous in attack. And yeah, if you don't play a sport you won't really understand some of this but just understand that I'm I'm going through things with that and it's like it's part of the game really but um just want to get back to scoring goals and I, I reckon we will uh, in, in the next competitive games that we're playing we should be in Nottingham that I'll be filming or vlogging if you like can't wait for that I'm so gassed and I, I, you see, I still get excited all the, after all these years. Um, you know, the passion doesn't go. And I, I, I swear, I, I don't think I'll ever retire, to be honest. Um, I thought about coaching at times, because I know my stuff, but I like to think I do. Um, but nah, I know if I coach, I would just be sitting there wanting to play. It'll make me want to play more. 
you know, and um, it'll be all the early starts um, just to watch. You should be like, nah. But like I said um, before the rant about Pudge football, I've been working on like other things uh, with other creative stuff that I can't really talk about. People love making noise in the kitchen. But yeah, it's things like, I'll tell you when the time comes, but out of respect for people I'm working with, I don't think I can mention it. But it's related to what I'm good at, talking in front of a camera or talking in general. And yeah, I haven't um, done any live streaming or anything for a while. Because I've been in my own head about the football a bit. Um, but no, I feel good about the future in terms of the season and looking forward to like you know slowly getting into summer and like spring and better weather and more chances to go outdoors and vlog and just break the cycle because I was get it was getting a bit fed up I mean I was getting a bit fed up it was getting a bit annoying like the same routine trying to break the cycle a bit and I've kind of done that or I haven't, but I feel feel better for sure. Don't feel as frustrated as I did the other, the other week or two weeks ago. But everyone has their moments, their off days, their switched on days. And maybe that's contributed to my lack of, not lack of form, but like not playing my best on the pitch. Distracted by other things that you just got to forget about when you're on the pitch. And being on the pitch is designed to or playing the sport, taking my mind off these things. But those, those things have overtaken my thoughts sometimes. Um, I'm an overthinker, I know that. It's good in some cases, but sometimes it's got to be more decisive. I say, okay, I'm doing this or I'm doing this. Like, I'm a bit indecisive with things. But it's in my own head, like, it? some of it's like uh, self inflicted. Like, you invent these scenarios that aren't even real. And like, it's not as bad as it seems. Then there's nothing going on really, it's just you making up shit. Um, but no, I'm all good in that sense. I have my moments, like I said, but nah, I'm all good. Or trying to be, we were trying to be. Say that now, you're like, oh, your life's going perfect. Then something else happens. Like, never say that. <laughs> just don't jinx it. I've done that before, or like nothing bad's happening, nothing annoying's going on, it's like suspicious, start looking around like what's going on, like this ain't normal, nothing to moan about, nothing annoying, that's never happened, and if it does you should be suspicious, because uh, that is strange, like everything, everything was getting better, you know Covid was reducing, less cases, all that, then suddenly we've got an invasion going on. Okay, so... Some Russian guy ruining all the fun. Like, can't we have some peace? And quiet world, like... Just chill for a week. Just chill out. <laughs> Give us a break. And there's a lot of stuff going on... In the world like that. Um, of course, Chelsea need a new owner. Or will do. Because, yeah. Russians have got to run away from the UK, scared of the sanctions that might come, or should come. Um, but then again, it's funny because Keir Starmer's a uh, an Arsenal fan, and he's the one saying, "Oh, they sh should sanction Abramovich, the Chelsea owner." Um, that's probably why he's doing it. But um, as a Tottenham fan, I I'm laughing. Um, in <laughs> They might get some other rich owner, that's the problem. And then I won't be laughing. We need a rich owner. Well, we've got one, but he don't spend anything. I'm not going to talk about football too much. Uh, I'll talk about, enough about Powerjet football. And some of you haven't even seen it. Or might not have seen it. Uh, many of you have, and many of you are players as well, so... You probably, I don't know, like... Every team goes through spells 
where they're not playing too well. But the longer it carries on, the worse it gets. Or the worse you feel about it. But then a the goal can change everything. One game can change it all. Or a good game can even make you think, okay, we're out of this rut. And then next game, you're in it again. You know, or a really, really bad game will make you get into gear and realise, okay, I'm not playing that bad ever again. Because it, sometimes it can't really get any worse. It's the same with life, like, yeah, any way you realise you you got to get better is when you hit rock bottom, really. When you just hit your rag, the end of your, just no patience left. Like, yeah, that's, that's what it is, really. Um, and, yeah, so I'm, I'm an overthinker, but when it comes to, like, mental health, there's been a lot more cases of that since pande the pandemic, and I'm more aware of it now, and maybe that, I don't know, got me thinking about it more, but we all go through phases, I guess, but, like, not, if it's continuous, then that's different. I haven't got crippling anxiety. Well, <laughs> half of that is true. I'm not going to be out here offending people. No, I don't want to have people offended by what I'm saying here. But we live in a crazy world that we're just... Everyone gets offended somehow. But TikTok has got to stop with the World War Three memes. Like, it's ridiculous. But, I mean, if you can't laugh, then what are you doing? Like, British humour, we, we're the best at laughing at an absolutely horrific situation. Uh, like, someone's just died and we're just making some sort of joke about it. But, you know, not, not in a bad way. Well, sometimes. But it's not intended. But British humour is just unique. Satire, you know, sarcasm. We're the best, and uh, no one else understands it. Like, in Italy, there's, there's some satire, but not on this level. Some of the jokes that I could tell here in a pub, in Italy, like, you, you wouldn't get any laughs. People would actually take it seriously. Like, how can you say that? But yeah, we're, it's cancel culture. But a pub conversation is different. Can't really cancel that, can you? Well, the lockdown tried to, didn't get very far. All people did is stay at home and drink more. And despite all the emotional stuff with COVID, the first lockdown I was good. Weather was good, I was at home, um, eating a lot, <laughs> drinking a lot, just enjoying life. Yes, you had this dark shadow of, oh my God, it's like an apocalypse looming over everything. But after a while that went and you realised, okay, maybe this is good. Not good, but like maybe we can get through this. And it's not going to be that bad, but like the aftermath has been where more people have seen the effects mentally and like socially. It's changed a lot of things. People want to get back in the routine. So like coming back to football was the, the first sign of normality for me. And I was like, whoa, it was like, it was, it was a bit... It's a bit strange. It's like starting again. It's like restarting everything. And it's like turning over a new leaf. Start fresh, forget the past. And move forward, like don't... Obviously you're not supposed to dwell on the past. In general, but um... Yeah, where have the last two years gone, like? And it feels like yesterday it was the first lockdown. And yeah, then the fear went a bit. And just like empty on the streets and it was... It was good for a while, um, and then we had all the variants. Vaccines, that was a, a good thing, and then everyone's like, nah, you can't make us have the vaccine. Well, some people. Um, but I saw it as a positive thing, a step in the right direction. Um, and we'll see what the next few months bring, because I know in the summer you could be out more, you know, you don't have to be indoors so much, and spreading of Covid is a lot lower just because of all the outdoors places 
out like restaurants you can eat outdoors. It's a lot better, like for me. I hate the winter anyway. <laughs> and it'd be a lot better when I go to football matches, power chair football as well as Tottenham games. But yeah, so there's things I still want to get back to. Uh, I've got one of my cousins coming over to visit. She hasn't been for a while. Uh, I've got to meet the new boyfriend. It should be fun. My other cousins that stay over here in the in London are uh, going back to Italy. Ironically, in the same time. Um, it's just... Um, they'd already booked their flights, basically. So that's why they're not here. You're like, oh... Wouldn't all your cousins be together? Like, guys, I've got so many cousins. You don't even, I don't even know where to start. There's no point. <laughs> I got too many. Like, you won't know which one I'm on about. <laughs> but yeah, it's exciting times, and we're we'll back to football. And then I haven't thought beyond that. I haven't thought beyond the football. But I don't think that far ahead of anything. But I'm looking forward to summer, guys. And I hope you are too, because I'm fed up of being cold. Uh, it's not fun. It's just not fun. I don't enjoy it. Maybe some people do, but nah. It's not for me. I've got that Italian blood. Can't be freezing my ass off. Mind you, we had no snow this year. So that's... I might be jinxing it saying that. But no, nah, I like a bit of snow. Start drifting around corners in my chair. You know, go sledding. Wow, well, I have to pull the sledge. Sledding? Sled? Sledge? Sled, I don't know. Slay, sled, I don't know. Whatever, but I like the snow, is what I'm trying to say. And I haven't seen any, so. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, the reason why I am wearing a hat is because. I need a haircut, 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 and it's a bad hair day. You don't want to see this mess under here. It's rare that I have a bad hair day. It is rare, even on a bad hair day. It's better than some people's good hair day. If that makes any sense. <laughs> and the camera has not stopped once. It's still recording. I think. There's been times where I've been talking in, in previous videos where it's just been stopped for like 10 minutes and I haven't even realised because I haven't looked that way but yeah, it's still recording it's a good sign and I've run out of things to say so that is a quote a quote and this is a good time to end because we are at the end of the conversation and I'm not one to force any conversation because then it wouldn't be real, but you guys stay real, stay humble, keep living your life, you're doing great, and uh, I believe in you, that's it. Peace.